Born 1857, Thornstein Veblen had one of the greatest impacts on economics. He was born in the small town of Caddo, Wisconsin, and grew up on his family farm. He was the fourth of 12 children. Because his family spoke Norwegian, he struggled in school. However, grades were a big part of his family, so he had to study hard. All his hard work paid off eventually, leading him to graduate from Yale University. In college, Veblen met his first wife, Ellen Rolfe, and they married in 1888. The two then divorced 23 years later due to Ellen's inability to bear children. Veblen then married Anne Bradley Bevins, a former student, in 1914, and became a stepfather to her two daughters. When he graduated, he couldn't find a job, mainly because he wasn't American or Christian. During this time, he read several books on economics. Six years went by and he decided to go to Cornell University to further his knowledge in the field of economics. Soon after, he was hired at the brand new Chicago University as a teaching assistant. It was during this time in Chicago that he wrote and published two books, one about his political ideas and the other, The Theory of the Leisure Class. Thorstein Veblen's most famous book was The Theory of the Leisure Class, an economic study of institutions. It proposes that the social strata in the division of labor of the feudal era continued into the modern era in the forms of conspicuous consumption and conspicuous leisure. Conspicuous consumption is a term Veblen coined for the application of money and other resources, such as clothes and technology, to display a higher social status. Conspicuous leisure is the extended time a person devotes to pleasurable pursuits, such as studying philosophy and fine arts, that better one's social status. Veblen's theory of conspicuous consumption has been very relevant throughout society, including our American society today. For example, our desire for nice cars, iPhones, and even Nikes only allow us to gain and maintain our social status. There are many alternatives to iPhones, nice cars, and Nike brand apparel. However, by purchasing these items, we are not only allowed to show that we have money, but we're also that we're also willing to spend that money to fit into social tr trends. Therefore, we are trying to gain social status. In conclusion, Thorstein Veblen's theory of conspicuous consumption states that people purchase goods and services only to display and show their wealth and social status. As consumers buy items to gain a higher status, they become unsatisfied, making them go back and buy more. This is what causes consumers to continue to make what Veblen considers their unnecessary purchases.